What's going on everyone? So here we're gonna go through the kettlebell or dumbbell goblet squat. Now the key points, whether you're at home or at the gym, you can go barefoot or put shoes on. Um, depending on the movement, I may go barefoot. Um, if there's a bar on my back, I most likely will not go barefoot. But if we're doing a dumbbell or kettlebell goblet squat, going barefoot could be helpful because you're gonna get some um, response from your feet as far as what could be the issue. So when we do this movement, I'm gonna have a kettlebell. The key points I like to focus on are having a tripod foot, meaning my big toe, pinky, and heel are in the ground. So when I'm performing this movement, I'm gonna find a good hip width position, okay? Everyone's gonna be a little different. Some people may squat with more of a narrow stance. Some people may have to squat with a wider stance. There's no right or wrong, just depending on how you feel in that motion. So with this movement, I'm gonna have that tripod foot so I feel my big toe, pinky, and, and heel into the ground, not too much on my forefoot and not too heavy on my heels. So I'm gonna grab the kettlebell. I like to hold it bottoms up. So here, I'm gonna take a big breath in, inhale down, exhale up, okay? Inhale down, exhale up. Okay, so that's from the front. You may notice when I go down, you know, I don't want to aggressively drive my knees out because again, I don't want to go on the side of my feet and then I'm losing internal rotation at the hip. So with that, I want to make sure that my knees are going to stay aligned with either my big toe or my second big toe so I can still work on some internal rotation, which in turn will help me produce force to lift heavier loads and just move more successfully. So from the side view, taking that kettlebell, inhale down, Exhale up, inhale down, exhale up. And some issues that I hear with the squat is the knees can't go over the toes. That's not true. Your knees wanna track over the toes because dorsal flexion is good for your ankles, it's good for movement. Think about walking up or down stairs. If your knee never went forward, then how would you be able to get up the stairs or down the stairs successfully? Okay, so that is gonna be your kettlebell um, or dumbbell goblet squat. Key points, tripod foot, inhale down, exhale on the way up. Make sure you feel your glutes and you're pushing the floor away as you're standing up and you're not coming here and then coming up. You want that trunk to be um, equal angle than your shin. So those knees go forward, your trunk will slightly come down. Okay, so that's that kettlebell or dumbbell goblet squat.